In this video, I'm going to be doing a recap of the RX 5600 XT and the Ryzen 4000 series mobile APUs and talking about why you should be excited for the release. This is Sukjeet from the Hardware Hub and let's get right into it. So let's start off by discussing the RX 5600 XT. The RX 5600 XT seems to have been so good that we've already seen a response from EVGA with the cheapest RTX 2060 we have seen to date. The RX 5600 XT will be launching in January 21, 2020 in the US and it will be priced at an MSRP of $279 which puts it squarely next to the GTX 1660 when it comes to pricing. It will also be featuring a Navi 10 GPU and 6GB of GDDR6 VRAM so it will be more updated and more efficient compared to the older AMD GPUs. More VRAM would have been nice to see here especially since we have seen AMD release their GPUs with 8GB of VRAM lately but I don't think it's a big issue since 6GB will be more than enough for 1080p gaming which is what this card is targeted at. Performance wise, AMD is stating that it will be on par or better than the GTX 1660 Ti which is what you would expect given the pricing. Recently released Radeon cards have been performing pretty decently so this claim is probably true but only independent testing will tell us which is faster. This is a pretty exciting release because AMD is putting pressure on the $200 to $300 PC graphics card segment which Nvidia has dominated ever since the GTX 1660 has come out. With the announcement of the GPU, we already have a response from NVIDIA which is the announcement of the EVGA NACA RTX 2060 for $279. Now I'm not really sure if this is a direct response to the RX 5600 XT but I'm sure NVIDIA is expecting that AMD is going to be releasing something new in the segment. Now the EVGA RTX 2060 will be, based on what we know, a much better GPU than the RX 5600 XT in terms of performance. The RTX 2060 also has ray tracing as well which is definitely compelling to some users. Now we should expect a response from AMD similar to the price cuts we saw back when the RTX Super Series was originally announced back in around July. Now this price cuts will definitely be pretty exciting to see and should make the GPUs in the $200 to $300 price range even better bargains. Now the Ryzen 4000 series laptop APUs are shaping up to be some very compelling products. As usual, there's going to be two lineups, a low power 15 watt lineup and a higher powered 45 watt lineup. These are going to be built using a 7 nanometer process and enhanced Vega graphics. Because of the improvements in Vega graphics, AMD is saying that they can get better graphics performance than last gen even with a lower number of compute units which is nice to see. The higher TDP lineup as you would expect is going to be for heavier workloads and features much higher clock speeds compared to the lower power lineup. It is important to note that the 45 watt APUs have about the same number of GPU compute units as the higher end 15 watt APUs which means that the 45 watt APUs are definitely targeted towards those people who benefit from a faster CPU. I'm sure that the majority of regular gamers and users will be just fine using the 15 watt APUs. Now an interesting part of the lineup is that AMD is going to be releasing an ASUS exclusive 35 watt APU which features 8 cores and 16 threads and matches the top performing 45 watt model. This 35 watt APU is going to be featured in one of ASUS's laptops and it's going to be ASUS exclusive for 6 months. I'm guessing AMD is trying to make some money off this partnership to hopefully offset some of the costs of developing these new APUs. Altogether these mobile Ryzen APUs are a great addition to the Ryzen lineup and it definitely shows some great innovation from AMD. Now the question I have for you guys is do you think that AMD is going to be able to beat the GTX 1660 series with the RX 5600 XT? Let me know in the comments down below. But yeah guys that's all for today. If you liked the video please be sure to hit the like button. If you didn't like it please dislike the video and subscribe for more content. And I'll see you guys in the next one.